Hello and welcome. So in this video I would like to show you a new feature that has been added in Gspawn uh, 3.2.0. It's called decoration rules or decor rules. So I'm using a uh, simple modular environment here um, and uh, I've used models from a pack called um, Village Interiors Kit from 3D Forge. And uh, let's just say I would like to decorate this environment with props. Now, normally the way you would do that is you would use the uh, props spawn tool, and that works in uh, most cases, but there are a few cases in which it doesn't produce the correct results. So let me just show you what I mean. I'm gonna place a sarcophagus object right here in the scene, and let's just say that I, want, I would like to place a lid on top of it, right? Uh, notice that because the mouse cursor intersects the bottom of the sarcophagus, uh, it's really difficult to place this on top. I could hold down the Alt key and use the mouse to and move the mouse to place it on top. But uh, what happens if, for example, I would like this uh, uh, lead to also rest against the floor? So something like uh, something like this, for example, right? And this is where decor rules can actually uh, help a lot. So the way it works, the way this feature works is that it requires an input demo scene that it can parse and then it can detect the way in which objects decorate each other. So uh, let me let me go ahead and open up a demo scene inside the catacombs folder. I have this demo scene called the crypt top down. So yeah, we have many objects here. Um, so there is enough data to extract here. And notice we also have this situation that I was talking about earlier with the um, sarcophagus and the lead resting against the floor and uh, yeah, many different rotations and poses and stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and parse this scene and extract the decoration data. I'm gonna press the generate decor rules button in order to do this. And we're gonna have to wait a little bit. And that's it. Now I'm gonna switch back to the scene that I was working on earlier. And let's see if we can uh, decorate this sarcophagus. So I'm gonna select the plugin. I'm gonna activate the props uh, spawn tool and make sure you have the apply decor rules checked. Yeah. So this is how you turn uh, turn the decor rule functionality on and off. Uh, and you can also use uh, Shift V to toggle this functionality. So I'm gonna leave this checked right now, and I'm gonna uh, double click on the on the lid. And notice that when I hover the sarcophagus object with the mouse, it automatically pl places the lid on top of the on top of the sarcophagus object. And we also have uh, we also have this um, label, this green label, which says Deco Rules Five. So what this is saying basically, it's informing you that there are five different ways in which the lid decorates the sarcophagus object. Uh, if I hold down the Alt key and use the mouse scroll wheel, I can switch between these different rules that can be applied. So let's use this one. I'm going to left click. Now when you left click, make sure you don't hold the, you don't have the Alt key, um, held, uh, you, you, you're not pressing the Alt key because uh, if you left click and press Alt, it will actually change, it will pick a prefab from the scene, it will change the spawn guide prefab. Okay, so let's, uh, let's place a few more of these sarcophagus objects. Uh, I'm gonna deactivate uh, deco rules for uh, these guys because I don't really uh, need it in this case. Okay, and now uh, let's place some leads. I'm gonna activate, I'm gonna press Shift V to activate. Hold on Alt, use the mouse scroll wheel. There you go, right? So that was a nice and uh, really fast way to decorate these uh, um, sarcophagus objects without having to switch to selection mode and use the gizmos and uh, place those objects manually. Yeah. Okay. Now well, let's go ahead and decorate some of these walls. Um, let's see. Uh, decor broken walls. Okay. So broken walls. There you go. Uh, some uh, we have some vents here. So the advantage to using decor rules is that it also allows you to use the models in a way that they were intended by uh, it was intended by the by the artist. Yeah. So 
allows you to make less mistakes. Now, it's not always perfect, and I'm going to show you a few examples where it, it actually fails. Um, for example, let's... Uh, oh, okay, right, here's an example. So, see that I ho I'm hovering this uh, wall object. This wall object is actually a corner wall, yeah? In contrast with this other wall object, which is like a, you know, like a thin wall. So the plugin gets a little bit confused because it tries, it actually, what it does, it, when it parses the scene, it actually tries to borrow uh, the, you know, decoration rules uh, between different prefabs with similar names. And in this case, it doesn't, uh, you know, it, it creates, it, 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 I think what happens is it borrows rules from the thin wall and it assigns them to this wall right here. And that's what's producing incorrect results. Uh, so it can sometimes miss, that, that's, uh, that's the point I'm trying to make. Let's see if I hold now Alt and try to... No, it won't work. Okay, so sometimes you might have to go in and manually uh, place the objects. Uh, but if there isn't a rule for... Uh, so if, if there isn't a rule, uh, it means that if you can't find the right rule for a particular prefab, like this corner wall right here, it means that probably uh, it, the objects were not... Inter uh, it probably means that the, the current object is not intended to actually decorate uh, the you know the wall like it like we have in this case okay so um, let's see uh, what else we have uh, we have a bunch of coffins right here there you go yeah so I'm gonna switch uh, I'm gonna hold on alt and use the mouse scroll wheel to switch between different rules and notice how we place the coffin so that it rests against the wall and the floor at the same time which would again would be really difficult to do using vanilla prop spawn Okay, and uh, I think we have some. Uh, we have a skeleton that can go inside one of these coffins. There you go. Let me place some coffins on the floor. Now, uh, when you have the decor rule functionality turned on, uh, you can't. Uh, you you can't. Um, you can't rotate the mouse. You can't rotate the object with the mouse. Uh, so you, but you can still you can still uh, rotate the object using the uh, X Y Z hotkeys. So I can press Y, for example. I can rotate this object right this like this. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now I can. Uh, okay, something like that. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. We have a bunch of roots that we can use. There you go snapping nicely into place there now with roots you can also uh, just use vanilla props they don't necessarily require decoration rules but it's it's still nice to have them snap into into place really fast okay great all right so uh, that's basically all I wanted to show you in this uh, in this video and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you very much for watching bye